And good morning from Scotty Ray and Candace as good we morning. roll into this Thursday. Yeah, good morning. Uh, it's a Thursday morning and Friday's almost here. And then we got Valentine's Day this weekend. Mm, mm, I guess that means I got to go do something. <laughs> Sunday. It? Yeah. <sighs> have you got your Valentine's taken care of yet? I can't say that I have. <laughs> you better get on the ball. Oh, uh, I went wrong. Yeah. I had to go find me a calendar <laughs> last night because right. I didn't have one. Oh, okay. And, uh, Everything I was get, I was missing everything because I didn't have nothing to write it on, and I did notice there's lots of candy and balloons everywhere uh, in town. It's everywhere. I mean, it's all red and pink everywhere. You know, and I have gotten a card for for my husband. I hadn't got anything. Oh, y'all still before. do that, huh? Well, I mean, you know, we've only been married just about a year. So. But I mean, there is like a law that after so many years you don't do it anymore, isn't it? Come on, help me it's out. Not here. a law, <laughs> Scotty Ray. <Rice. laughs> it is a law that says if you ain't got it by Sunday, you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you in trouble. No. So that is coming. All right. Uh, back to one of the most talked about things that's going on in our area these days. It is the weather and what's mm-hmm. going to uh, be happening. Let's pull up radar and show you. And we got a bunch of rain today that is going to be coming. We're going to have somewhere between one to two inches of rain today. Brought that up earlier as we pull up radar uh, right now. Here's Meridian. Uh, Newton County getting a lot of rain. Kemper getting a little bit. Light showers there in Neshoba and then to the south through Clark County on that western side. Heavier rain there in Wayne County starting to get some heavy showers headed toward Waynesboro in that neck of the woods. Light stuff up in Kemper up through Starkville. Nothing bad at the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Again, we're going to have cold weather over the weekend. And let me pull these back up. I went over these this morning. And again, these are going to change. And let me remind you of that before we get into this because we're still four to five days out from all of this and everything changes so quickly uh, with the weather. So we'll have updates with this. Uh, The patchy fog's burning off. The ice uh, accumulation for today is North Mississippi, up in that area there, up in the Delta. Uh, We start getting the ice accumulation tomorrow and tomorrow night, a little bit closer to home. Mm -hmm. Louisville, all of this area here, expect it northwest Knoxby County up here due northwest of Macon. A little bit there in that corner there in Philadelphia. And as we get uh, crossing across here to Leake County, a little bit there also. All good down here for Friday and Saturday. We jump ahead to the cold weather that is coming in over the weekend. This means Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Our area is going to be getting it uh, at the beginning of Monday. This area up here to our northwest, the Delta, is going to catch it all weekend long. Monday, coming out of Sunday, is when we'll start getting this stuff. And then the chances of ice for us roll in on Monday afternoon into uh, that night. So there's a lot of weather activity going yeah. on. Sounds like it's going to be a mess. It is. Uh, mm. I would expect power losses mm-hmm. that's coming. We talked about that yesterday. Yes. And you made a good, you and I were talking yesterday about generators and dragging yeah. things into the house. Yeah. A lot of people will sometimes, you know, have the little, even the little plug in space heaters just. You know, but if you bring in anything that has like a propane gas yeah. bottle with it, just always ventilate. You know, have I mean, I know it's cold outside, but if you have to crack a window or something, yeah, you don't generators need to- don't bring those in. Period. Right, they will keep. I cannot tell you during um, tornadoes that hit where people outpower the people that end up getting killed mm-hmm. from generators. That that gas will it'll kill you. Yeah. So just be very careful. If you've got to use a space heater even, just be careful oh. of where you put that and what's next to it. Make sure there's curtains. nothing like curtains yeah, or blankets or anything like right around it. Because, I mean, we've just seen disaster after throughout the years, you know. And also, if you have pets outside and you put a light, if you put, say, hay in their doghouse or if you have a barn and you have hay in it and you put a light out there, make sure that it's where it's, like, securely attached yeah. to something and it's out of the reach of the animals because if they bump it it could fall in the hay i had a um a family member that their barn caught on fire and that that just that way Ooh. so um just be extra careful you, know, you have to preparing. be and again make sure you get your gas ordered and get your firewood in yes <clears throat> it's gonna be a little damp today mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. it's a it's a messy day for sure Ooh. i'm driving in it while i go trying to get alden to school it's just messy i hate driving in the rain uh, be better, uh, and again, we don't know. There's no closings announced yet because all mm-hmm. this could change. But Tuesday morning will be hairy if everything stays on forecast the way it's going now. And be ready Monday for uh, m- uh, Monday night, Tuesday morning for it to be challenges. Yes. All right. Let's say some good mornings uh, to a few folks that are are up in Adam mm-hmm. today. 
Good morning, Miss Gail Gafford and Debbie Stewart. Good morning to y'all. Yeah, <laughs> Ronnie Warren wants to know if you got a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ken wished me a happy birthday, I Ken Buffington. Happy, happy birthday. I did not even realize it was Scotty Ray's birthday. I am awful. Y'all, I'm horrible. I would have right? brought, I'd have brought cupcakes. Oh, I need a cupcake. Look, I'll just have to bring them tomorrow. <laughs> we'll have a belated Another... birthday. That's awful. Why? Because I can't believe that I didn't remember oh, it ain't that. Good or that I didn't, deal. like I said, I have not, though. I mean. This girl is not paying I'm attention horrible, to y'all. social That's media. That's awful. I mean, I, I do pay attention, but I got so many other things going on when I get you home. You didn't notice the uh, the Coca-Cola train they gave me downstairs? Uh-uh. Yeah. I got a train. They're going to put that I have in my Coca-Cola village. tunnel vision. When I come through the door, I'm up the stairs. As everybody's thinking, God bless her husband. Well, happy birthday, Scotty Ray. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, also, uh, Donna Sue Peebles wished yes. happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, Casey Savelle wishes a happy birthday. Blake Callahan's up. Scott Sherlock. Did I ever pronounce Scott's name right? Is it Sherlock? Sherlock. Am I right, Scott? I'm not sure because I'm, I'm not sure. I could really mess your name up, brother. I apologize about that. Cirillo? I don't know. Oh, I bet you that's it. Cirillo. I don't know. Probably so. You know more about that than I do. <laughs> Are you talking about me, Ken? That's bad. I know. I bet he is. It is. I'm awful. That is horrible. I feel awful. Oh, you got to make it up now. You like cupcakes? Yeah. I'll okay, cupcakes. I'll bring you some good okay. cupcakes tomorrow. And, I'm uh, not making them. I'm buying them. Oh, you don't make cupcakes? I, I do she, make them, but she's always I'm going to get you the really good the, ones. The, the Margie. Cook. Yeah. I'll, Margie's? Yeah. You like those? Yeah, she is okay. good at what she does. Yeah. Very good at it. And uh, Tiffany Crawford Allen wishing me a happy birthday. Girl, thank you. Y'all well, stop. Y'all are making me look. <laughs> speaking. Let's start out with this story because it kind of rubs me wrong. When somebody points out the truth and then they get in trouble for it, yeah. uh, a conservative uh, movie star has been fired. And I don't watch anything to do with Star Trek. I've never been a sci-fi person, mm-hmm. so I don't know much about it. Yeah, I'm not I know that Captain Star Kirk Trek. was out there and mm-hmm. beam me up Scotty, whatever he done. Yeah. All the new stuff, I ain't got a clue. But this girl, I guess they're filming a new one, and she's probably a big star that I don't know a whole lot about. I'm learning as we go. But uh, Gina, how do you pronounce her name? It's either Serrano or I would think it would be Serrano. Well, she's in part of the Star Wars television series. And she's conservative and she makes tweets. And what she got fired for, she made a tweet Tuesday night, and they fired her yesterday over this. And I'll read it to you because what she said makes sense. I, I don't see where she done wrong. She just simply made a statement. Mm-hmm. And this is the tweet that she put out. It says, Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even children. Because history is edited, most people today don't realize that to get to the point to where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made it that their own neighbors hate them simply for being a Jew. How is this different from hating someone for their political views? Right. Did did anybody hear anything wrong with that? I didn't see anything wrong with that. I mean, that's just stating facts. That that is facts. It's what's going on. Targeting is what Mm -hmm. it sounds like to me. And, you know, that's why, you know, the other day when we were talking about history, Mm -hmm. history is so important because things like that can happen again. They do. Well, they are happening again. They condition you to where if you see your neighbor not wearing your mask, oh, call the government, turn them in. Mm -hmm. Then pretty soon, well, your neighbor cranked up his car and they're not supposed to warm it up. Go ahead and call the cops on that. And mm-hmm. pretty soon you think, hey, it's okay to, to report somebody. Right. Next thing, hey, they're at church. They said Jesus' name on the street. Let's mm-hmm. get them. Call. Well, you have stuff like that. And then you already have groups that are um, pretty much, I mean, if call it what it is. It's segregating themselves away from everybody else yeah. with businesses or, um, I mean, just really it's a division going on right now from the government yeah. on down. You know, it's people, everywhere. It's just they're wanting people to be divided. They're wanting people to be against each other. And that helps them out in the long run to get to their, you know, What goal. America really doesn't understand, and probably corporate America, Twitter <laughs> is not everybody in the United States. When they right. go to belly aching on here and, you know, you have 25,000 people jump on that, well, they all stick together mm-hmm. and they do that. But you take old Joe that's working uh, uh, 
you know, from five in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, working two jobs, trying to get by. He does not have time to do that. And there's more Joes in America minding their own business out there that really don't agree with the way America's mm -hmm. handled. And like I said the other day, I believe there's more good in America than there, there is. is bad. And, you know, everybody just kind of feels like the weight of the world's on their shoulders right now. And like you really can't do anything about what's going on. Um, but the best thing to do is pray about it. And then everybody just kind of, you know, band together and stand up for what you believe in and just hope for the best is the only thing I know we can do. But all this stuff is going on and people getting fired just because they voice, you know, yeah. voice their opinion about something. Or, I mean, I can understand if they like physically harmed somebody or, That's understandable. or they were violent or, you know, stuff like that. But just voicing your opinion. I mean, I want to know, like, who's up there judging what's right and what's wrong like you can say it but you can't well that's like you know? the people that, that run twitter when they ban somebody uh -huh. yeah, you know who's watching them uh -huh. and that's where if this keeps going there's going to have to be regulations well, put in yeah and it's just like the national anthem yeah. you know um people don't want the national anthem played well get up and walk out if you don't want to listen to it get up and walk out just like prayer in school if you don't want your child listening to prayer in school or participating in prayer in school they have the ability to get up and walk out of the classroom. If and they that want to was be there. Uh, breaking news uh, yesterday afternoon mm -hmm. of Mark, who took uh -huh. it away yes. from. They're going to make him now do it. The yeah, well, good. The NBA says, no, nah, you're going to play it. So he backed up and started trying to wiggle out of it and said, well, I never said I wasn't going to play it. I just paused it. Mm -hmm. That's not what was going on. Everybody knows that. Well, this country is broken right now. And just remember if you don't bend with what you believe, you won't ever break. No, you know? that's true. And so just keep on believing in the right thing and, and trying to do the right thing. It's the only thing I know to do. I mean, it's just, and pray about it. I mean, that's the only thing that's going to bring us out of it, I believe. Uh, Edna Riley said you should be ashamed. I know. <laughs> Y'all! <laughs> Oh, and I do appreciate all the happy birthdays this morning. I do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Christian Washam, how are you this morning? I hope you got Steve up and fixing him some breakfast this morning. <laughs> Good friends of ours. Worked on the pipeline with them. Good folks. And uh, that says lightning, if you hear all that. I hear the rain right now and the thunder. So. Lightning is within 15 miles of Chet's paint and body shop. So, Chet, you got some lightning coming near you there. I'll turn that off where everybody can't hear that. Yeah. It, uh, it likes to let me know when there's something coming close. Well, let's uh, let's get started with a, a few of the stories that are out there this morning that that are uh, occurring. Mm -hmm. And Shirley Gardner said, "You are exactly right." So let's see here what we got going on today. Let me pull over here. Me and you talked about this before we went on. This is like timeless. You just can't think of this guy mm -hmm. surely being passed away, but he's forever this age. I know. That's when I think about Burt Reynolds. This is what I think about. He looks like. Yep. I, you know, I remember before he passed away. He looked just so, you know, weak, weak and frail. He did, you he did, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I just can't believe that's Burt Reynolds." Burt was eighty-two years old, uh -huh. and of course, I, I guess uh, I'd have to do the subtraction to get it right. That was seventy-seven-ish when all that was done, and he mm -hmm. was like the man. He was mm -hmm. it at the time. But there's several stars like Burt Reynolds and Elvis and all these people. They're just timeless. You they know, are timeless icons. You know, that was the uh, the first movie that I ever went to the theaters to see. And I've only seen three in my life. Um, I went to see, as a kid, uh, uh, Bert there and Smokey and the Bandit. Then we went to see Hooper mm -hmm. the next year. And then when me and Angie started dating, I took her to see George Strait. And that was the only movies I've ever been to inside a theater. I just love these movies. And Jerry Reed. Oh, yeah. That was the, you know, his, his friend that drove the truck and stuff. And I listened to a song the other night. We were listening to it, and I had Alden. She <laughs> got the gold a, mine, I got the shaft. Yes, yes. I mean, it is the funny. Listening to him, he was just such a great artist. I mean. Oh, know, he was. Because, I mean, he talks through most of the song, you know. And, of course, you know, he played on several Elvis songs. He was a great guitar mm -hmm. picker, Jerry Reed was. He was just, I mean, he was a great star. Lord, Mr. Ford, what have you done? He got, In that song, you know, he went through, and I don't know if anybody remembers that, but that was back when a Chevrolet pickup truck, a Ford truck cost you $3,000, and he put the interest on it, and the truck cost him $12,000. Yeah, mm -hmm. what is that today? Yeah, I know. But he was a good star. I mean, he was a really good actor. And Did you ever watch funny. the movie that him and Bert did uh W.W. and the Dixie Dance Hall. What's the rest of that? That was a great movie. No, I did not. It's where they rob their singers, but they rob stores on the side. And 
It I was, don't think I did. It was great. I don't think I did. Uh-uh. It was 1949 that Hank Williams released Love Sick Blues. It went on to become a number one there. And this was the year that the cash box came out. And it was the best hillbilly record of the year. Okay. Great old Hank song there. Uh, as we look at other things, uh-oh, this came on television in 1956. If you were sitting at home, you got to see this for the first time. The Heartbreak Hotel. Elvis cut up with it. Mm-hmm. And I've never heard of the stage show, but it must have been at that time pretty big. Mm-hmm. So let's see what else went on. Oh, you know this young lady, don't you? Cheryl Cray. Yeah, today's her birthday, is that yep. right? Okay. Yep, yep. She done the song with uh, Kid Rock okay. is why mm-hmm. I know her. Uh-huh. Pitcher, wasn't that what it? Yeah, that's what she done with Kid Rock. And then Jennifer Aniston, we all know her from Friends, has a birthday today. She's 52 today. All right. I can't believe that. Yeah. She hey, doesn't what? look 52. I, feel so, I feel like I'm just aging like so fast. Things are times flying by, y'all. It's just flying. By. If you blink, it's gone. Slow it down a little bit. It would be 1975 that we would all be re-entered uh, or re uh, or remembering this song. It was about mm-hmm. the third recording of it. Willie took it to number one with Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. Mm-hmm. Great song. It was a great song. Fred great Rose answer. wrote that song, who uh, managed Hank Williams, and this was like. Major huge. It come out, made a song, and then it went to the movies. Mm-hmm. Number one album was Kenny Rogers and The Gambler. And, of course, whenever you hear those those words on a warm summer's eve, you know what it is. Yeah, I like the song. Of course, Lionel Richie sung it to you, Lady. You oh, know, you Lady. Oh, I thought you were talking about I was trying to think of Lionel Richie no, singing Gambler. Say, no, I was thinking, <laughs> boy, I sure don't remember that one. But Lady, the yeah. song Lady. I didn't know Lionel done that. Yeah, he sung it to you. Oh, uh-huh. well, see, I didn't cross over back then. I didn't know anything about all that. Uh, That's the Way Love Goes was number one in 1984 if you're a Merle Haggard uh, fan. And Paula Abdul, I do remember this. Straight Up I Tell You, wasn't that it? Straight Up Now Tell Me. Okay. Do you really want to love me forever? (laughs) This was number one back in 1989, some 30-something years ago. Wow, wow, wow. Also in 1990, Nelson Mandela was released from prison. That was a big deal. Mm -hmm. You hear about that all the time. And this was the shocker for everybody. Yeah, it was a shocker. Uh, 48, uh, Whitney Houston died in 2012, died in a bathtub, drowned. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, and, of course, I think they, didn't they prove I in the end it was, was drugs? Yeah, I think she had a maybe a drug overdose and was in the bathtub when it happened. I don't know. It's just so sad. I mean, such talent just wasted. gone. Yeah. And, of course, you know, the bodyguard, who can't, if you're going through channels, who can't, you have to stop and watch That was harder. a great movie. Great, right, maybe. She's, Kevin, I mean, she's the best singer, though. I mean, she can sing anything. Her voice any was note. unique. Uh-huh, it was. There's yeah, very really few was. females that, I, that I'm sitting here thinking that have got that recognition that she had. Mm-hmm. Of course, Reba Whitney, Dolly. Mm-hmm. It, uh, it's a handful that are that good. It was one year ago today, and this would change our lives, and we just didn't know it at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the World Health Organization named it, and they called it COVID-19. Some 450,000 people later, we would know more about what that really is, wouldn't we? We would. That uh, still just shocks me at just how bad this stuff is. I just can't. I mean, to me, it's still like living in a, a movie or something. You know, it I just is. can't believe that we're seeing this in our lifetime. But okay. uh, Damon was talking about the, uh, Damon Reagan was talking about the young lady that was just fired from uh, uh-huh. Star Wars, and he was saying that Hollywood wanted that. They wanted her. Fired a few months ago or a few years ago when she's made other comments that mm-hmm. Disney yeah. probably didn't like and they, they got rid of her. Bad. Some more happy birthdays. Morning, Sandy White there. Ooh, she even wished me a happy birthday. Mm. Y'all. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, let's see what else is happening uh, across. We got a few stories from the state of Mississippi uh, that are happening today. If I can find out where my... They're going to start tearing down the uh, the building downtown Meridian that did catch fire. They are going to go away with that. I think they had mm-hmm. a special session, and that was approved. Uh, as we move to Oxford, Mississippi, they've released the name of the man that the Oxford police shot. Now, when that story first broke, all you heard was it was a chase, and he was shot. Well, the man ran into a home and then pulled a butcher knife on the cops. They repeatedly told him to put it down. He made a move towards them, and they opened fire on the man, and he died at the scene. Mm. Of course, this is uh, under investigation. They always yeah. do these, and, and whoever the officer are usually are just put on leave until yeah, they figure everything out. Yeah. yeah. 
Did, have you ever been to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Jackson, Mississippi? No, I haven't. I, uh, I haven't either. I, I, I want to see Meridian used to have them. I know. I think they did. But I know Jackson has a big one because I've seen pictures from it. And Last year was the first time in 37 years that it had, it had ever been canceled. So this year they're saying don't come, but we're going to do it and put it online so you can watch it. Okay. That's a pretty yeah. good combination. I don't know that a par I mean, I've always watched parades, though, you know, on TV. Like the, the Macy's. Macy's. Yeah, the Macy's Parade. I'm sure it's not like just like being there, but it does give you a, well, a we little bit of entertainment watching it. You know? Thanksgiving parades, we'd mm -hmm. get up and watch those. Yeah. And uh, the Christmas Parade, Downtown Meridian. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. And I always love watching the Rose Bowl parades because they would make all these floats out of roses. It was just amazing. Elaborate, wasn't yeah, it? it was. Let's see, this is sad news. On the coast, uh, a Gulfport businessman has been killed. He was out walking his dog. Somebody lost control of the car, jumped the curb, and ran on the beach, and he was ran over. He dies. Another person was injured, but he died. Don't know about the puppy dog, but uh, he didn't make it. 64-year-old William Lee Brumsfield passed away from that. That is so sad. That's... Uh, he was a developer, it says. Uh, so. Keep uh, his family in your thoughts as they move forward today. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. You never know. I mean, you just never know what's going on. The day is no, going to No, you, you don't. Um, serious stuff there. Mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. yeah, you get up, you think you're going to be back home in just a little bit. Yeah. And I you mean, never get just, to go back. It's so sad. So that always brings to mind of live every day like it is your last mm -hmm. because you don't know. So you need to be getting right with somebody. Right. <laughs> well, out in Collinsville, Joe, they got the doors wide open this morning at the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. And if you're on a bread mission or a milk run, they got you covered for this weekend. Or if you need a plate lunch. I mean, they've got yeah. the little restaurant over to the side. That's just real handy. And um, I I've gotten it several times, especially like after church well, and you stuff get like that. We used to go all the time. To, uh, mm -hmm. A meat and two vegetables and a piece of cornbread for like three ninety nine. It's cheap, yeah, it's, it's but it's good really food. good. It it is. And of course, you can get the navel oranges three ninety nine for a four pound bag. Those are good. Eat them at any time. Strawberries they got them fresh in from Florida two ninety nine for that one pound bunch. Mm -hmm. You can get the white, yellow, or sweet onion. See, I didn't even know that there was different types of onions. I thought an onion was an onion. Oh, you didn't know that? No, I, I've never yeah. really. I've never even cut one. Oh. Well, I've gotten them on hamburgers. Uh -huh. I like the sweet onions. They're just not as strong as some of the other ones. Okay. They make yeah. you cry like the others? All of them to me do. But I've always heard if you'll light a candle mm -hmm. what, next to you while you're cutting an onion, that yeah. it does not make your eyes water. I don't know. Huh. So try it. I guess. Huh. A lot of candles will be used this yeah. weekend, won't they? <laughs> Piggly Wiggly also has their brand, the Piggly Wiggly Mustard, for 89 cents. That's that 20 ounce squirt bottle. You can also, you got to have ketchup also. Mm -hmm. $2.99 for the 32 ounce bottle. You can get the Piggly Wiggly Mayonnaise, $1.99 for the 30 ounce jar. You always got to have some of that. I know, and you can use it in all kinds of stuff. So. I even threw it in some eggs the other day. They said put it in a skillet, uh -huh. throw it on there, and turn on the oven, and let it melt, and then put your eggs in there. I put a spoon of it in my cornbread. <laughs> um, that was a recipe that my ex-sister-in-law and them used to use all the time. Really, it's good, though. It does make some moist. Well, try that. Yep. Well, maybe you need some uh, Dixie Crystal Sugar. They got that for a four-pound bag, two twenty-nine, mm -hmm. along with creamer, powdered creamer, $1.79. You can get the sweet corn, uh, the cream style Italian or French cut green beans, two for a dollar there. Mm -hmm. Also, the Lunchables, without the drink, you can get their Oscar Mayer, four for five dollars. That's pretty, that's a good bargain there. Kids that love is. those. Uh -huh. Uh, chuck roast. I almost said rump roast because I'm so used to saying that word. <laughs> Four sixty nine a pound. You can also get the New York strips seven ninety nine for the family pack a pound. You can get those chuck steaks four eighty nine a pound, and then assorted pork chops a dollar nineteen a pound. A few of the bargains there. Coca Cola products at a great price, and drinking water all at the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. Drop in to see them today. Uh, the bread meter says get you some. Yes. For Monday. <laughs> you get all yeah. Stock up on all your stuff before next week. Yeah, it, uh, fortunately, we won't have uh, days of this upon end. It will be warming back up. But uh, but it is good to make a big pot of chili when you're yeah. stuck in the house. You can't do anything. Just, you know, I like uh, some hot chocolate. I hadn't had chili in quite some time now. Uh, Lynn Swain uh, is up in Adam and Kemper County this morning. Sandy Hemingway Clark. How are you doing? Me and Sandy had... Uh, um, our senior year, at what was Miss mm -hmm. Clark there in the library? We shared shared a little table there. That's Sweetheart, right. she's teacher right at MCC. Hope everything's good. Uh, Iris Buckley is up. She wishes me a happy birthday, also, Candice. Okay. 
Uh, Scott said, you know, when you cut an <laughs> onion, you get to smell, you get to smell off your hands when you wash your hands. You rub your, <laughs> I, think, I, think he, I think he meant rub your hand against the stain. Surely it's not rub your head against the stainless steel. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's against stainless steel. Yeah, that's neat, though. I wonder if the little stainless steel, um, the silver Brillo, little things. The little pads. Yeah. Looking, not, the, not the ones that would stick you in your finger. That yeah. other kind. I don't yeah. know what you've yeah. seen them. Yeah. Maybe it does. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of things you can't get that smell off your hand once you get it on there. I know. Onions don't bother me, though. That, that's something that I, I like, onions in my food. Of course, my husband, don't, he don't care for them. But Gives I you slip some them flavor. in there every now and then when I cook them real good. <laughs> now, I hadn't watched enough NFL. I haven't watched any uh, this year mm-hmm. due to uh, political reasons. But uh, this old boy that plays it, uh, Chad Wheeler, uh, who played? Who did he play for here? I think it says in the article the Seattle Seahawks. They've since terminated his contract. He beat his girlfriend. She's released a bunch of pictures. Said he choked her, mm. and uh, it's not good for him. She wants to know why he hasn't been arrested. Mm. Mm. But I'm sure there's more details yeah. to come out on that. I, I, I'm gonna leave that there. I understand. I could get all up in that. Candace get her dandruff all stirred up this I morning. Mean, I just yeah. To me, I don't. Man shouldn't do it, and you no, know it as well yeah, as I do. Man shouldn't hit a woman. So. Uh, news broke late yesterday afternoon that uh, Mr. Left Side Bruce Springsteen, who, you know, if you listen to his music, it was good. you you got to give the man credit where it was. Um, but his thinking is a little bit different than a lot. It turns out, well, he was drinking and driving, and Jeep hired him to do a commercial mm. for the Super Bowl. After driving the, a Jeep. Yeah, driving a Jeep. Since then, they've gone rump row and have taken down the video everywhere everywhere because they've dropped it from YouTube because they don't feel that it's right. And I agree with that. But he, they didn't know he had a DUI? Did not. Yeah. He uh, yeah. filmed the commercial. He'd gotten it drinking and driving and running around back where he lives there. And I guess he's in New Jersey's where he's uh, from. Yeah. But uh, he done something he shouldn't. Now, whether or not that, I guess he still gets his money regardless. Yeah. It uh, went on to say this was the first product that he had ever uh, endorsed. Mm-hmm. I could care less there, Bruce. Yeah. yeah. The boss. Yeah. He's a, he's a drinker and a driver, so uh, yeah. shame, shame, shame. Animal rights lawyer. And you hear about these stories of people that get angry with their ex. They found out they might have fooled around on them, and they think, I'd like to hurt somebody. Mm-hmm. Can you take it too far, Candace? Yeah, you can take it too far. Well, she's a lawyer, mm-hmm. an animal rights lawyer. And she had this woman that lived with them, and they're called, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, a u pair. And I thought, I have never heard this term, so I Googled it. And what that means is you have someone come live in your house for free, they clean your house, and they do all this for free food and free rent to mm-hmm. take care of you. It's a trade-off. Well, her husband thought, well, that sure is looking good over there one night. Yeah. And they started having a little affair when she was working late with the puppy dogs and suing people. Next yeah. thing you know, she goes, hmm, she found out about it. She thought, hmm, I'll just kill her. Oh, Lord. Is this the woman right here? Yeah, this is the lawyer. So why is she in scrubs, I wonder? Like, she looks like she's in the medical field. I think that's her jumpsuit they gave her. Oh. That may be, yeah, that's her jumpsuit there at the sheriff's office. Oh, okay. I thought that it was like... Hospital scrubs is what it looks like to me because it's not glance. orange, it's, it's red. So with apparently, a little mask down there. Colorado, they give you a red outfit to wear for a little while. Okay. okay. But uh, she's been arrested. She hired this guy. She talked to him several times on the phone with text. He's got all the proof. And he went to the police and said she wants me to kill her boyfriend and his girlfriend. Mm. Didn't work out so well yeah. for her. But that happens a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it does. Don't be I know asked. you'd want to kill them. I mean, if you get that you mad. Get mad. You get mad. But, but, I mean, you know, to follow through, it ain't worth spending mm-hmm. the rest of your life in jail. She'll get some while time. While they're out walking around, if the, if you didn't, you know. Because, you know, she was set. She would have won the case because it was proven that he done all that to yeah. her. She would have walked away with the house and probably mm-hmm. all of his pay. Be smart. Boy. If you're going to get back at somebody, be smart. Don't yeah, be stupid. That is not the way to do that. Right. If you're a comic books person, I would imagine this comic book is going to be worth a lot of money because of the mistake. Anytime there's a mistake with comic books and things, it mm-hmm. makes the value of them. They've called them back, Marvel has. And this is the Immortal Hulk. I don't do a lot of this. But if you look in the background, they took it as the, the guy that drew the thing was making fun of Jews. He said it was, it was an honest mistake. It's got the star of David here, and he spelled jury wrong uh-huh. and he said it was a terrible mistake 
he didn't mean it that way, and they were jumping on him for, for picking on the Jews, and he said, I didn't do that. It was an honest mistake. If you've got one, they'll take your comic book back and give you one without that. Yeah. But as I said, I would think. I don't that think the, that was a mistake. It, it just kind of, you get caught and you go, whoops. Yeah. yeah. So that's what's out there. And he said he also, at the name, spelled the name above that wrong. I, mm-hmm. I don't know. But it'll make that comic book worth more, uh, whichever the case. Yeah. Chevron uh, has accidentally dumped 600 gallons of fuel into the San Francisco Bay. They're uh, attempting to get all that cleaned up. If you can see, let me pull that picture back up. I can right see. there. Yeah. That's, that's 600. That's awful. I mean, I would think that would kill the fish and everything. It ain't good there. for whatever's yeah. out there. Goodness. So they're attempting to get that cleaned up. I don't know how you go about all that. but uh, I know. Now, the shooting that happened uh, at the Urgent Care in Minnesota, I think everybody's seen that in headlines. You've mm-hmm. got that on your phone of breaking news. This, this isn't the first time they've arrested the guy and it turns out that he's made threats before to that same place uh, that he was going to get them. Mm-hmm. And he finally came through with so what they, he said. When he threatened the first time, they should have had him on like a watch. Yeah. You know. Ulrich like, Or they should have put secu- added security. Yeah. I would think. You don't, I mean, people need to take threats like that serious. Yeah. In this day and time, I mean, mm-hmm. you don't mess around with that. No, so. I just, things are, mm-hmm. the, the world like is that. so accessible where years ago, you know, like you couldn't just, you, you remember when the we had that first Oklahoma City bombing? Mm-hmm. You, you, no one had ever thought about anything like that before. It wasn't common. Nowadays, yeah. that's, yeah. you just see it more. Well, that's just like this mess that happened at the Capitol. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, I mean, there's people who say that there was a heads up beforehand, like the day beforehand, that, that this stuff was going to happen. And they didn't do anything. And, yeah, to, and the, that the FBI possibly was notified um, and then maybe Nancy Pelosi possibly knew about it. So, well, you go back to nine one one, and uh-huh. you go back and you listen to all the tapes of people that were, and people just kind of set on their job. Same yeah. thing with Pearl Harbor; mm-hmm. they were warned in advance, and it just was not taken seriously. And yeah, well, I saw a, I mean, it was a, um, a, a picture yesterday that somebody had taken, and I don't know how it ended up on social media, but supposedly it was of. The one of the people who had an office in the Capitol building, and mm. the office was breached by some of the, the people that come in there. And I guess somebody took a picture of it. It's like they were so fast to get out of their offices that it they left their emails pulled up on their computer. Yeah, and, I can see somebody doing okay, that. Okay, well, and one of them was of it was a letter that was dated the day before, um, citing that all this, this stuff, could happen. Well, it was citing it was it was like saying that it had happened already, you know. Type oh, stuff. it was all who already knows? typed out. Yeah, who kn- who knows? But if you get a heads up about something like that, take it serious. Yeah, you know. You hear you watch the TV show Gilligan's Island. Well, it mm-hmm. kind of happened in real life. A mm-hmm. shipwreck. You always see that thing floating around on Facebook. If you were to, uh, stranded on a desert island, what would you take? Well. Okay. Most of the time, you ain't got time to take nothing. What would you take? I mean, I don't know. You don't plan to be stranded, I wouldn't imagine. But But these people, it was three people there. Two men and a woman were stranded for Mm -hmm. 33 days. Their boat overturned. They swam to the island, and they lived off coconuts for 33 days. That sounds like that Tom Hanks, maybe. Yeah. That he's got the soccer ball, Wilson. What was that called? Mm -hmm. Was it Wilson? No. What was the movie called? That's what I I don't know. Wasn't it like one word? Yeah, I think so. Um, and then at the end of the movie, he goes to see the woman who owned Wilson. Uh huh. That's isn't it? And she was a country. Sing- wasn't it Laurie White? I don't know. I think it was. That was a good movie, though. What was the it name of it? It lasted forever. <laughs> I was like, if I have to see Wilson out in the ocean one more time, I just, I, I, I really yeah. don't know who it was. Uh huh. So what? Castaway. There yeah, it is. Castaway. Okay. Yeah. Shannon uh, Coleman answered that for us. Castaway. Yeah. How could we forget that? I don't that? know. I swear. I just, you know, you can tell stuff that just comes in my head. I just say it at that moment. I don't think about it beforehand, but <laughs> Lord. But yeah, that was a good movie. It was yeah. just, um, it just felt like it lasted forever. Well, it was one character. Yeah. I mean, and it's that, like, gosh. It doesn't move fast when you have one person. Yeah. And y'all, and you know. I think he lived off coconuts, though, didn't he? Yeah. Anything else. Yeah. But y'all think about it. Y'all know that has happened before, oh. and it didn't end as well for other people. Yeah. Like Amelia Earhart. What really went on? Did she make it to an island? That is an odd story right there, because she just disappeared. Yeah. You know, they claim that they found bones and stuff that could be her. I, I we, don't know. You know, in um, New Mexico, in the Alien Museum over there, 
They got an alien museum? There's a museum, yes, and it, it talks about all the UFO spottings and sightings and all this kind of stuff. And um, there's a map on there, and it has several spots on the map of different things like airplanes that have come up. There's military airplanes that just d vanish. Are you talking about the, uh, what's that hole that everybody gets sucked into that you heard the, about as a um, kid? Yeah, the um, triangle. Tri uh, yeah. Bermuda Triangle. That's it. Yeah, and they claim that that could be a possible something, you know. The gutter? Abduction type thing. Yeah, I mean, they, that's what they claim. I don't know. Mm. But there was supposedly an aircraft, a military aircraft, that um, radioed in. Because it, it'll have a spot on there where something come up missing in an aircraft or whatever. And then it'll have the story underneath. <clears throat> and there was a military aircraft that came up missing. But right before... Um, they had radioed in and said that everything looked fine, and, but there was something suspicious outside of it, the aircraft. Interesting. And then they, it disappeared. I yeah, didn't know that part of the story. Yeah, there's a, that is a really neat museum. I mean, for y'all who don't believe or who do believe or whatever, there's a lot of um, scientific facts that back a lot of this stuff Aliens. up. It's kind of odd, you know. So. Area 51. And yeah. But, you know, I think the government has come out and said this is a real thing, you know. Well, yeah, Area 51 is, and also unidentified flying objects are because they can identify them. It doesn't mean it's from outer space. Yeah, but, you know, there's there's got to be something else out there, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know what to think about that. I don't know either. I hope I don't ever see How it. How come we ain't ever seen them? I don't know, but I like Earth. I like staying right here on Earth. <laughs> Oh, in other news, we have two heroes uh, that are out, and there's, there's the, that's the best way to put them. Mm -hmm. They saved somebody's life. Two garbage truck drivers, you know how they send out the Amber Alerts on your phone? Uh -huh. Yeah. And they're going down the road, and they see the car that's described that they got on their on their phone. So they block the road where the guy can't get out, and the little girl, she was um, 9 or 10, something like that, uh, called the cops. They blocked it to where he couldn't get away, and he was arrested, mm -hmm. and her life was saved. Thank goodness. Yeah, so... A good thing. I hope they do something good for those people that yeah, did that. His name was, uh, it was two of them, Dion Merrick and Brandon Antoine, maybe? Uh-huh. This is the bad guy up here in the right-hand corner. He's the guy that they arrested mm -hmm. for kidnapping the little girl. So that story ended great. Yes. So. Wish there were more stories that ended in that, that way. So what do you think is going to happen to this company? What's everybody's opinion of this, of Aunt Jemima Sirp? We've had it since we were kids. Mm -hmm. I think it's, has. I think it's ridiculous that they change the name, just put that first. But as long as they don't change the recipe, because <laughs> it's good. That's my favorite syrup. But, we'll, you know, because everything about is people getting to know your, uh, your product, mm -hmm. your brand, your image, what you are. When you see it, you don't even think you know that's what you want. Yeah. They've named it Pearl Milling Company. This was the name of the company, the original company that owned Aunt Jemima when it started. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Well, I, you know, and the, the lady that that was, I think a lot of them still made money off of that because they used their likeness on the bottles. And Well, she was, I, the story behind that was she was a renowned, like, really good cook. Right. And so they put her on there for that. Purpose. A purpose to like spotlight her and and so i mean to me taking her off of there i mean i'm sure her name wasn't aunt jemima right you know she just but, played uh, that character right but to have her face on there for years to me would have been an honor yeah and then they just take her off of there and then act like oh she don't even exist anymore i mean to me that's not good but i mean why not name it after her her actual name i just uh, I, i'm not i mean maybe her name was pearl i don't know who knows? I don't know what her name was, but she was supposedly a really good cook. I don't know nothing about no coconut being a natural laxative there, Scott. Yeah, I don't know about that either. I've, ne I've never had a coconut in my life, mm -hmm. number one. Yeah. I've had a coconut cake. That's as far as I've I've had been. coconut, and I've had coconut cake, and, but I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I've never been to the islands before, so yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't back you up on that one there. But yeah. maybe that, that may be true there. Mm -hmm. Let's see here what else we got going on here. Aunt Jemima, we move on from that story of them changing the name of it. Is anyone shocked over this? The governor of uh, California, you know, they have to have one and a half million people to sign a petition to have the re-election. They have that clause in that state. Mm -hmm. They're at 1.4, probably even closer. Joe comes out and goes, you know, I don't, I don't think I like that. I, I don't mm -hmm. think we ought to be doing that. Of well, course he's going to say that. Well, Joe, there's a lot of stuff you shouldn't be doing, but, uh, you know, <laughs> you're doing it. We'll see what happens in California as they... Okay. Uh, it's within a month, I think, that they got to get that uh, the next few people. Yeah. You hear about this stuff, That's the nice people that do the DNA test. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, that's a big thing now with yeah. them identifying murderist and rapist and stuff like that. You find out you got family members you didn't know about. Mm -hmm. Well, it turned out to be a good thing in this. A man spent 20 years in prison for a crime that he did not commit for a murder. Mm -hmm. 20 of the 30 years that he was sentenced. And the guy that did it had done one of those mm -hmm. DNA tests and traced it back to the girl that was murdered. They had run the, the figures through it. Mm -hmm. And he says the reason that he was sent to prison is the police took him in drilled him for 20 hours, made him confess to it because they wanted to have somebody in the spotlight that mm -hmm. they solved the crime. And he said to get it over with, he finally confessed because they wouldn't leave him alone. That is so sad. It is. I mean, because 20 years in prison. His life, 20 years of your life is gone. Yeah, you cannot get that back. And, and I wonder when something like that happens to people, I wonder if they can go back and get some kind of a, like, can they sue? Yeah, they can I sue. Mean, for that. They ought to, because that's a horrible. You think about the person that, that did the drilling on him in those uh, in those little rooms, you know, where they take you in and mm -hmm. rehearse all of that over and over and over. And not just years of your life gone. If you had kids, yeah. a family, a wife, I mean, you know, all that's just... They gone. It's gone. I mean, even if you had kids, I mean, you've lost that many years with them. They're grown by now. You know? So is anybody held accountable for what they've done to you, I guess is my question. Yeah. The people that made you confess, do right. they go back and get them? They should. They should, because that's not right. No, all. it's not. You know? uh, the girl was 18 years old. She was murdered in her apartment. It ended up being the next door neighbor that did it. And you know they had DNA testing back then. Why didn't they do it then? I, I, if it didn't match, and obviously it didn't. Um, I don't. I don't know when the DNA stuff started to be where they mm -hmm. could test it to be positive. I, I don't know when that came about. Well, in '96, I would have thought it would have been around by then. So I'd have to do some know. research on that. Yeah. But uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, be careful what you keep on your phone. Mm -hmm. No matter how secure they tell you that this stuff, nobody's going to get it. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, eight British show boys busted on up in there, and they hacked a bunch of celebrity phones, used their bank cards, all of these apps that you got that have your banking information. They hacked it mm -hmm. and then locked the owners out from it and was spending their money. Mm -hmm. They're going to jail over it. Because if you think about Venmo and what's that other one, Cash App, and all that stuff's got your banking stuff on it. So, I don't know. Keep in mind. People That's why can... I don't like ordering stuff online with my bank. You know, card but or anything. There's no other way to order it unless you do a money order. Well, you can use a credit card. Um, and which but, you could cancel that if somebody got yeah, it. Yeah, but your bank card that's tied directly to your bank account. Yeah, is, you, once your money's like, gone, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it ain't coming back. Hey, we mentioned that yesterday that Fauci said that two masks would be great. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, uh, a few hours later, the CDC goes, great idea, and we're going to endorse that now. That's part of it now. Mm -hmm. They say it's a great idea. If this keeps up, we all going to be on oxygen. <laughs> I mean, seriously. The oxygen companies have <laughs> this little oxygen bottle like feeding. I can't breathe through two of them hardly good at all. One, to me. It's one, rough. Yeah, one does. It, just breathing the hot air in, it makes me feel lightheaded. I, I have know. to. I ain't going to lie. Jerk mine down when I have to go somewhere and go. <gasps> yeah, I have to back. pull it down and breathe every now and then. I mean, it's just. It's rough out breathe. there. It is. We didn't hear about this. This has been one of those low-key stories. We don't know where it's headed, but it is missing. Explosive have been taken from the largest marine base there in California. They don't tell you how much of the explosion. Or what kind. Yeah. They just said some are missing. Mm. That's, that's scary. I mean, that's kind of like, that's scary. Who got um, it? What are they going to do with it? Mm. Mm -hmm. What happens if you're home, it's nighttime, you get a knock on the door, and the next thing you know, you got dog the bounty hunter. It's not dog, but yeah. it was bounty hunters uh -huh. that busted into this guy's house in New York, drug him outside. They go in and start dragging his wife and daughter out, and they're after somebody that's kin to him that doesn't live there. Oh, gosh. So he's yeah, going to... that would be... Mm. <clears throat> then you got two cops that are standing out there with him going, hey, who are these guys? They came with him and didn't know who they were, and oh, they were not even from that state is where it gets kind of hairy. So everybody has a new lawsuit against him this morning yeah. for dragging him out of his house. He's saying the cops should have known better. They shouldn't have been in his house. And the way yeah. he worded I mean, you would it. You would think that they would get like. Yeah. Do a little. I mean, do a little research before you go pulling people out of the house. That's the you're pulling out. I think he's trying to say that he thought they were doing this mm -hmm. to find out if he could tell them where the guy was. They knew he was never there and they did it anyway. 
Mm. Don't know. It'll all be settled in court at some yeah. point. It's a mess. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This irks me. It really does. Yeah. This is not the only town that's done it. Uh, they're getting rid of the name Columbus Day and changing it. How do you pronounce this? Okay, I had a hard time with this earlier for some reason, but um, Indigenous. People's Day. Mm-hmm. And I have no idea what that term actually means. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all look it up, and she just think. I could look it up, I what? guess. I, I, take my eyes off of it. Where's this stuff going to stop? Columbus Day. Columbus mm-hmm. did discover America. Yeah. Whether certain people want to believe that or not, that did happen. It happened in history. You really can't change history unless you rewrite history. Oh, wait a minute. We are rewriting history. I really think these people hate this country. They just, they just hate America. I mean, like, pack it up and, and go, go be gone. Pack it up and go. You're getting on our nerves. <laughs> <laughs> C.J. Walker was. Do you know what that was referring to? Bob Jackson uh, replied to William and said uh, incorrect. Maybe he was talking to them. We don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I missed out on that one there. Let's see what else we got going on in stories this morning across the nation. But that, that's rough there. Uh, the Gorilla Glue story from yesterday. Yes. Well, she's uh, the young lady that got her hair glued to her head, uh-huh. who sprayed it in there thinking that she could use glue. That was just. Mm. You know what? She's. Yeah, that ignorance. worked. She has a plastic surgeon that's going to donate their time. Of uh, I think the surgery costs twelve thousand dollars. He's going to do that procedure to help her at no extra cost to her, no mm-hmm. cost at all to her. Yeah. And you were saying you don't think I don't think her hair was. I mean, if she's having surgery on her scalp, I mean, chances are that hair is not going to grow back because mm-hmm. you know if you have a scar or scar in your head, the hair does not grow back in a scar. So I don't know. Maybe it will. But it ain't I'll be getting good. a wig ready. Yeah. So she's gonna, Oh, but uh, that never was not a smart move. Yeah, never spray glue into your hair. Mm, mm, that's mm, just, mm. Yeah, that's crazy. And this is one of those stories to where uh, it was sad. Uh, a teenager, senior in high school, is doing the right thing for the family. A mom lost her job, didn't tell her kids what had happened. They were just before being evicted from home. So the girl gives up all of her college money to give to mom so they can keep a roof over their head. That was a, a good yeah, I think there has been a GoFund set up now to mm-hmm. help them. Um, don't know the, the reasons why mom, I, I guess she was just laid off mm-hmm. is the way the story read. But uh, that was sweet of the young lady to do that for her family. It was. Uh, I don't know rappers very well. I do know Donald Trump let this guy out of jail. Yeah, I've never heard of Kodak Black. I've never heard of that. But Kodak, you sure you don't have the CD in your car? I don't have it, I promise okay. you. Well, Kodak <laughs> Black uh, says he wants to do the right thing of the FBI agents that were murdered. He wants to send all of their kids pay for their college. Now, the people online are jumping on him saying he's trying to suck up because he was let out of jail. Does it really matter? The guy's yeah. trying to, at the end of the day, he is trying to do a good deed. Yeah. And uh, it should well, be accepted that way. Anything tied to Trump in any way, they they're, not, they're it. not for it. They're against it. Those, totally against it. Those kids need that. And mm-hmm. we all know FBI agents don't make a whole lot of money. And you think of the spouse that's left to try to pick up the pieces and get by. Yeah, uh, I know. With kids, that, that is a major help. So kudos to him, whoever yes. he is, Mr. Kuda, Kodak Black, yeah. that I've never heard of there. I'm not going to be getting the CD to check it out either. Me either. <laughs> I wouldn't, but, but thankful for him. Yeah, to Heineken that, Beer so. is going to be laying off 8,000 people. Mm-hmm. And their words on all this, you get in and read this, they want their profit margins to reach a certain level during the pandemic. And the only way they can get their profit margins is to get rid of 8,000 people so they will be losing their job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of companies are hurting right now. They are. I mean, a lot. And then I've, I've heard talk of possibly them, you know, somebody on a coronavirus task force or something I had heard yesterday. Um Possibly said that a shutdown maybe in the future might help things. I, I just think I it would be the that. worst thing that if would they kill shut our stuff. Economy. It would. It would. It just put the nail in the coffin. Right it would now, be you know, on some businesses. I almost got political last night when I released this story onto the page, and I typed it out, and I thought I don't need to do that. So I backed up, and I just put the story of what happened. Larry Flint, for whatever it's worth, who uh, started Hustler Magazine, uh, dies at seventy-eight uh, mm-hmm. yesterday. Uh, real chalky looking guy. He must not have been in good health for a while. He doesn't look it anyway. Yeah. 
I don't think he was in real good health. I mean, I, I remember seeing a documentary or something about him, and I don't think he's been in good health in a long for a long time. Never um, gained the success that Hugh Hefner did. Of course, they both exploited people that mm -hmm. they shouldn't have, and they made millions off of it. Yeah, me made the uh, lifestyle, and I'll, I'll just leave it at that. But that's that's where they were. Uh, as we said today, you know, it's going to be a, a little bit of rain. We could get up to two inches of rain mm. today, so keep that in mind. Mm. Keep an umbrella, your galosha. But do you still use the word galosha? Is that still a word? Galoshes. I say rain boots. Okay. But I remember as a kid hearing that uh -huh. all the time. Gal your galoshes, yeah. Yeah, I've never owned a pair of galoshes, whatever they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My stomach, yeah, it's growing are you, are you so hungry? loud. I'm surprised y'all can't hear it. It's because it you, like no, you didn't bring a birthday cake. If you'd brought a cake, we wouldn't be hungry, would we? <sighs> Mm. Let's take a moment and talk about Tiffany. Yes. Tiffany Blue has a lot going on at her boutique, and she's got Valentine's Day coming up, and she's got 20% off everything for Valentine's Day. That's, and that's a great deal. Y'all yeah. need to go in there and check check out her booth at the Atrium. It's on Highway 493 in Meridian, Mississippi, and she also has the Rustic Couture 512 North Archisa Avenue in Quitman, Mississippi. Yeah, and these are lamps and different portraits and paintings. I guess maybe portraits is the proper word to use, uh -huh. but they're pictures. They're great ones there. And they are. They're beautiful. I've been in there and I've seen them. They're large, very large canvases mm -hmm. um, that are framed with real nice frames. Yeah. And some of them are original artwork that she's done herself, and then mm -hmm. some of them, you know, are just more modern, like, artwork that are... Um, if you're into that kind of thing. Farmhouse style things, furniture, lamps. And of course, these towels, that's a uh -huh. real popular thing to put. Yes. Do you always put those, you put those in bathrooms or do you put those I in put the kitchen? I put them in my kitchen. Around, yeah. On the stove handle. Yeah. And, yeah, I put them Our on cabinet. the stove handle. I've got one like on my little refrigerator pool, like freezer thing on there. It says, I think it says um, something about. I can't eat another bite. Oh, look, there's Kate. <laughs> or something <laughs> that like does, that. Yeah, that's but cute things. But she's got really cute tea towels. That's what I call them. Tea, tea towels. But, Pillows um, and mm -hmm. a whole lot more there as you go through right. this with the pictures of bunny rabbits that are coming up for... Uh, Spring or Easter. Yeah. You know, so. Tons of lamps and things to choose from. And, of course, those portraits there. Mm -hmm. Check it all out. That's Tiffany Ballou's Decor, her boutique. You can find it all there in North Hill Street. Or you can go on down to Quitman and check it out. She'll be glad to help you out in any shape, way, or form. Yes. Now, we'll be here through any weather event as it comes about with updates. I'll give you an update tonight as well as to what we expect because this is going to change. Mm -hmm. It's going to, and I use the, the word tweak. Mm -hmm. It will be tweaked. I don't think there'll be a lot of drastic changes, but it'll come, it'll go on early days, and we'll be on top of that to let you know what the weather's going to do, the timeline that we're in, and give you the up to date, latest information that we can. Do you think any severe? I think we could go, I consider no power severe. Um, I think uh, it'll be limited snow is what I'm seeing now, mm -hmm. but the ice, if it sticks to what this forecast, and let me read you this again, what we've got mm -hmm. listed here for Monday. Monday night, 80% chance of snow, freezing rain, and sleet with a low, that's going to be Louisville there, 16. Meridian, the low is uh, the same forecast, low of 21. Okay. At 21 degrees, things are going to freeze. It's going to be bad, messy bridges. You can't cross them. Mm -hmm. So that could be bad for our area, extremely bad. Fortunately, it'll be warming up the next day to about 39. It won't, it, where we have those days where it never gets above uh -huh. 20, the next day, that's when it's horrible for and, days. And some people might think anything above 32 stuff will start melting, but it really it doesn't all the time. No. Especially if you got a cold, cold wind blowing, like a, you know, a breeze or something blowing. It does not melt. So we'll watch this very closely for you and keep you up to date with the very latest on this. And uh, we want to say thank you to everybody that watched. Thanks for sharing. Uh, always great for you to do that. Yes, we we do. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate your comments. And yeah, it's always fun interacting. You know, with everybody, with all your comments and everything. And I am very sorry that I missed Scotty Ray's birthday. I hope y'all don't nail me to the wall. You're not going <laughs> to sing Happy Birthday or anything. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> We yeah. do thank you, and we'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning uh, at 8.30. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by...